Hey, hi, I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do, right at home. I'm just about to set off these wicked cool pyrotechnics and going over today's science file. How do fireworks well work? Well, that's a great question. Try this. You will need a bag of fireworks and an adult. Okay, first up, the good old fashioned flash. Oh no, I don't mean that kind of flash. <laughs> I mean this kind. <laughs> okay, second up, we're going for a spin. I'm talking about taking a spin with these suckers right here. Let's get going. And last but certainly not least, we're headed for a shower. No, 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 we don't mean bad singing. I'm talking about one of these wicked cool pyro showers right here. Now that is so wicked cool! That's my favorite one! So, how do fireworks well work? Well, don't look at me! Take a closer look at this! Strobe fireworks are usually small paper cups filled with a combination of chemicals that consist of two major reactants. One which reacts easily and one that doesn't. When the fuse reacts to the more reactive compound, it burns to create a large amount of heat. This heats up the more difficult to ignite portion of the mixture, and once this reaches its ignition temperature, it goes off with a sudden flash. This process repeats itself over and over, increasing in frequency to produce many flashes. Ground spinning fireworks have a clay plug at both ends filled with a rapidly burning combination of chemicals. A small fuse hole has been drilled into one side of the tube near one end. When the fuse ignites the combination of chemicals, hot gases are produced and rush out of this hole, propelling the device around its center. Because it's off balance and it doesn't have quite enough thrust to fly, the firework spins randomly on the ground. This rapid random spinning is what creates the bloom effect and causes the whirling sound you hear. Fountain fireworks are made up of a tube filled with a combination of chemicals designed to make lots of sparks, flame, and gas. The top of the tube is plugged with clay. A hole is drilled in the center to form what is known as a choke. With the choke, a lot of pressure builds up inside the tube, which forces sparks out with much greater velocity, forming a fountain of sparks. And as gas rapidly shoots out of the choke, you get the iconic whistling sound. Repeating fountain fireworks work pretty much the same way, but instead of a single tube, there are many tubes connected with fuses to set off the different tubes which give you different effects and displays. So now you know how fireworks, well, work. You know, setting up fireworks right at home is why science is so cool.